I'm going to answer two questions for you today. How much can you make yearly from a rubber tree farm? And how much can you sell it for when you're done with rubber trees and you're ready to plant for something else and you want to cut the trees? So here we go. I've got behind me here, I've got rubber trees, right? And uh, a lot of people ask, you know, uh, you know, how much can you make? How much can you make with a rubber tree farm? And I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious. You probably know someone's got a rubber tree farm. And you're, you yourself may be thinking about investing in a rubber tree farm. Well, with this rubber tree farm, I just bought, I bought six rye of rubber trees from my, my neighbor. I grow, I grow durian currently, and I plan on cutting this down. So I have a price today I'm gonna share with you on clearing this field and selling the trees and a price on how much I could possibly make yearly with it. So with the current rubber trees that we have here on this piece of land, and you may have a different size piece of land, so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a count of trees when calculating the rubber profits that you can make yearly. So this particular piece of land I bought had have 440 trees on it. And from the owner and up in the cutters, from what they've been telling me, how much they can get from the farm per cut on average, it basically goes like this. Every every 10 trees they cut, they roughly get a kilo of rubber. Now we got 440 trees, so what is that? 44 kilos they can get from cutting this farm. And uh, so, okay, so that's just one time. Now there's 365 days in a year, but they don't cut 365 days a year. There's a, there's a period of time where it gets dry in Thailand and the trees lose their leaves. They don't cut during that period, which is three or four months. And then when it's raining, they can't cut either. So you're limited on how many times you can cut your rubber trees per year. But a good estimate, speaking with everybody, you got about four months, you got about 120 different times of cutting during the year, maybe up to 180. Just depends on your location. The more rain you get in a drier area, that's gonna affect how much you can cut per year. So with this particular piece of property here, and another thing, they don't, they don't fully get uh, that 44 kilos every time. They may get a little more and a little less, but that, that's just an average. So we'll, we'll work with those numbers. But yeah, so you're looking at, you know, 44 kilos per cut, let's just say per average, and you can do this a uh, hundred times, and that, that's quite a bit that you can make in a year. So it all depends on the price also. Right now it's about 26 baht per kilo for cup lump rubber, rubber. And just to show you what that is, that comes right here in these lumps. When they cut the tree, Right, they'll go ahead and score the tree and they'll just drip it in here. And they just collect the rubber in these cups until it's, until it's filled. And then they pop them out about every two weeks and they go ahead and they sell the rubber. But that gets about 26 baht a kilo at the moment. And you also, your labor cost normally is 50-50 depending on where you're at. Some farmers take 60%, 60-40, or the cutters take uh, 60 and the owner gets 40. So that's a variance too that you got to look at in your area on how much you're going to make yearly from your rubber trees. So depending on the price per kilo and what your labor costs are and how many times you can cut it a year, um, you know, uh, you can make a lot of money or you can make a little bit of money. So just take those figures, just take, take that, uh, the kilo price, every 10 trees, you roughly get a kilo when you cut it and you multiply that, how many times you can cut it per year in your area minus out your, your labor costs and whatever fertilizer you may put down. And uh, that'll give you your figure on how much you can make yearly in your rubber tree farm, depending on how many trees you have. My feet are getting bit right now by red ants. So that's why I'm jumping around a little bit. So anyways, guys, that's, that's the possibility with rubber tree farm. That's how much you can make. Now, in regards to what I'm gonna do with this field, I'm gonna cut all these trees and I've got a price free on that. So I've got 440 trees and I had three loggers come by to give me a price on the, on the trees to come down. They're going to come in, they're going to cut them, and they're going to pile up all the branches to the side. And uh, based on that, that's what they're going to give me. So they came in, they counted my trees, I got 440. And based on that, one guy gave me an offer of 30,000 baht. He'd come in, cut them, haul them away, leave the brush. The second guy came in and gave me an offer and his was what, 46,000 baht. Same thing, they come in and cut it, haul the trees away. And then the last guy just came in and he gave me the best price, which was 55,000 baht. And he comes in and cuts and, and holds all uh, 
the trees away. Now, uh, that's a pretty good price. That's 55,000 baht for all these trees. That's gonna go into my pocket, but then I'm gonna have a cost of taking out the stumps and then hauling away all the brush. And that same guy that gave me the highest bid gave me a price per stump of 55 baht to remove it. So I have 440 stumps to be removed. So that's roughly gonna be almost a thousand bucks right there. So we got about 30, about 30,000 baht worth of trunk tr uh, stump removal. And then they're gonna haul them away and that's probably gonna be another 6,000 baht. So 36,000 baht is what's gonna cost me, upwards of 40. But if, if, if I cap it at 40 and that's what I actually pay, out of that 55,000 I got, so I'm still gonna profit 15,000. So, uh, so there you go. I've got 15,000 baht basically after clearing everything is what I'm going to make. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my, uh, my Tulian trees. And with the Tulian, I can tell you this, they make a hell of a lot more than rubber trees. And um, yeah, and they taste good, of course, if you like Tulian. Anyway, guys, hey, I hope this helps. If you're in Thailand and you know, you're looking to uh, investigate a rubber tree farm, considering investing into it, I hope this video helps with everything for you. Good luck. See you next time.